Father, I just thank you for the word that's coming forth today. Father, may there be angels on each side standing at attention, delivering the word of God with a sword. For your word is powerful and it is sharper than any two-edged sword. So Lord, we just pray your spirit of truth and your spirit of revelation here, God. And we just thank you over and over and over again for who you are. That you sit on the throne. Thank you, Daddy God. You guys may have a seat or you may get up and greet someone. I think we, our church is pretty good at greeting everybody before. It's usually what takes us so long to get started. (laughs) Brother Gary, dad. (laughs) I mean, Gary. If anybody didn't need a mic, it would be me. No, I'm fine. Praise. You know, I realize that uh, the Bible says that unless the, the Lord keepeth the city, that the watchman watcheth in vain. So, you know, we're just human beings and We just pray that the Lord will anoint us here this morning. Lord, we thank you, God, for this opportunity and the privilege that we have to come together this morning and to, oh, to fellowship with one another, to to worship uh, you, God. What a privilege and an honor that we have, God. And Lord, we thank you for it. And we know, God, that we're asking you now to open up your word to us and we'll give you the praise. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. If you've got your Bibles and would like to turn with me this morning, let's go to the book of Jude. Uh, Very obscure book. uh, If you don't know where it is, it's the last book before you get to Revelations. The one right before Revelations. And it's only one one chapter. Uh, Next week, I think, what we'll do at the man's meeting is I'm going to start going through the book of Jude. And uh, how long will it take us to go through 25 chapters? I don't know. There's, there's quite a bit there. But uh, let's start with... Uh, and Danny, if I wanted to give a name to uh, the message this morning, uh, let's put it... Uh, have you ever heard that announcer on the, who announces boxing matches and stuff like that? He, he'll get up there and says, Are you ready to rumble? So let's put it, Are you ready to rumble? Let's give that a name. That's, a, that's an unusual name, sort of an eye-catching name. Uh, the book of Jude, the first chapter. And I'm reading the King James. Yours may read a, keep in mind, yours may read a little bit different. You know, uh, a lot of people have problems with different translations. And, and uh, uh, some of them say that uh, uh, King James is the only way to go. I, I, I disagree. I think there's uh, every translation offers benefits. Uh, we just need to know the Word of God. We need to know what it says. But uh, to give you an idea, uh, the book of uh, James, you know, James is not even even a Hebrew name. Uh, the ones that tr- translated it and gave it the book's name was King James. So think about that for a minute. <laughs> James actually means Jacob. So next time you're reading the book of James, keep in mind that the book of James actually should read Jacob. So uh, that's where all those people that just swear that the King James is the only one. I like the King James because that's the one I've been studying. But anyway, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. uh, And it's not talking about uh, James here that's one of the apostles. Uh, James, the apostle, uh, I believe got martyred uh, by Herod uh, before they ever got out of Jerusalem. But Jude, James, is, this is a half-brother of Jesus Christ. And Jude was a half-brother of Jesus Christ. He was so 
uh, had, had such a humility about him. He didn't want to say that, oh, I'm a half-brother of Jesus. Uh, uh, but he said the brother of James. He was must, James must have been uh, more well-known. James would have been called Jacob too here. But anyway, sanctified by God the Father and, and, and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Now here's what I, uh, I'm going to...